yes. Uh, well, I would start with a brief description of rabies situation in Iran, uh, located in MENA region. Uh, rabies is a notifiable disease in Iran since 1930s. And even before that, we have 31 provinces in Iran that are all uh, contaminated with rabies. In the map, uh, color indicates the frequency of exposures. And uh, in 2019, uh, more than 230,000 cases of suspected exposure were recorded. This number has constantly been increasing during uh, recent decades. And uh, well, the rate has slightly decreased during the COVID uh, confinements. The number of uh, annual human deaths uh, at the same time has been kept uh, uh, less than 10 and even five, but never been uh, zero. And uh, as shown in the figure on the right, uh, there are uh, certain uh, major players in rabies control and management in the country. Uh, the Iranian organization uh, under the Ministry of Agriculture surveys and controls rabies in owned animals, such as dog and cattle. Municipalities uh, under the uh, Ministry of uh, Interior is responsible for uh, the free-ranging dog management and control. And uh, the Department of Environment uh, takes care of uh, surveillance and control of rabies in wildlife animals. As a matter of fact, NGOs are not very active in Iran. Rabies uh, re-emerges uh, from those three sources. And uh, inadequate control in those uh, domains would result in uh, virus transmission to humans and deaths from rabies uh, could happen. The practice of post-exposure prophylaxis is done by a vast network of healthcare centers spread throughout the country. Uh, this network is supervised and controlled and managed by the Ministry of Health and Medical Education. The Ministry of Health has the highest budget assumption among all the organizations. Well, uh, the Iranian veterinary organization, IVO, implements its own uh, rabies control plans. Annual dog vaccination program of the IVO covers more than one third of the shepherd and uh, guard dogs, who are uh, generally responsible for more dangerous bites, according to the results of uh, laboratory tests. Uh, in fact, uh, this service is free of charge. Uh, at the same time, pet owners take their pets to private clinics for vaccination and they generally pay for it. Uh, coming to the World Rabies Day in Iran, uh, it has been celebrated since 2007, trying to gather together as many as possible the stakeholders in rabies control in the country. In that occasion, uh, we were also trying to benefit from the presence of rabies experts from the neighboring uh, countries whenever possible, as well as other international experts in order to share the information and uh, discuss the most current uh, data on rabies prevention and control. Various activities uh, take place on that occasion for public awareness and education. Uh, for example, from uh, poster and the flyer distribution to organizing social activities like uh, meetings and the free pet vaccination programs, as well as uh, organizing conferences and workshops. Unfortunately, like many other countries, uh, these activities are now under the shadow of COVID in Iran. Well, uh, we can see that uh, a kind of uh, rabies control already existed in Iran, but uh, stakeholders worked uh, mainly in isolation. This occasion, the World Rabies Day, was a good opportunity for the advocacy and uh, improve the proceedings for rabies control and change the picture of rabies control in the country, as you, you may see in the pictures. Well, during those that conferences uh, that were held uh, during the World Rabies Day uh, ceremonies, the speakers from rabies stakeholders updated the other participants with their annual reports, 
and uh, presented latest data and shared best practices. Usually a joint statement was uh, issued at the closing session regarding rabies control. This was a very good opportunity and based on that, and with regard to rabies blueprint, the idea of moving toward uh, rabies elimination was developed uh, among those stakeholders. And the strategic plan uh, for rabies uh, elimination in Iran was drafted in 2014 based on a One Health approach. Well, uh, in the course of War Rabies uh, Day events, another thing happened. During a series of meetings of national rabies experts with the uh, participation of world classics, after discussion about uh, initials and tools available uh, in the country for rabies control, it was concluded that the rabies uh, elimination committee was needed uh, to foster those activities and uh, could be introduced. This committee, which was formed in 2015, was comprised of members uh, from different rabies stakeholders in the country. And the Ministry of Health, uh, that was the main player uh, in those activities, uh, in fact, uh, the, the committee was formed under the umbrella of the Ministry of Health. Uh, the areas of activities uh, for that uh, elimination committee, some, some activities were considered. Capabilities, available tools and needs, as well as uh, expectations from different stakeholders were discussed in the committee. Trying to reach joint plans for action between the uh, organizations. Certain sections, uh, needed to have more contribution to those activities, such as Department of Environment, uh, who was responsible for wildlife, animal uh, surveillance and control. And uh, in spite of, for example, in spite of proven Fox Reservoir uh, host uh, in Iran uh, for rabies, uh, there was no uh, plan for uh, rabies control uh, and surveillance in, uh, in wildlife at the Department of Environment. So uh, engaging that uh, sector was very critical. Other sectors also were uh, needed to, to contribute more, such as, for example, Ministry of Education. Uh, that was uh, very important for raising awareness. As a matter of fact, a couple of years ago, we were about to convince them to put rabies uh, in the curriculum of uh, high school uh, students. The rabies committee uh, also tries to organize more meetings, encourage and support uh, capacity development, uh, such as establishment of diagnostic lab network in the country, because there is uh, actually one or two uh, rabies uh, diagnostic laboratory active at the moment currently. And also improve intersector collaboration. However, this is also currently under the shadow of uh, COVID. Well, in fact, to maintain the intersector contact and collaboration is a challenge, and I tell you why. Establishment and development of intersector cooperations, also uh, obtaining uh, adequate and uh, appropriate budget are time-consuming activities. At the same time, the authorities expect changes to happen fast and they want them to happen during their uh, uh, management period. Therefore, it is a challenge to obtain political commitment for, uh, for supporting those activities. And no doubt that the World Rabies Day is an ideal opportunity that we should benefit from uh, either during or after the COVID. This also has been a good model for this control, uh, but uh, we have learned a lot from COVID as well. Uh, an example could be, for example, uh, we have seen that the, the, article, the scientific articles in COVID were uh, free and open access. So maybe it could be a, a good uh, initiative to make the uh, open access the rabies uh, publications for expanding the audience and read more uh, about rabies. 
Also, uh, we have seen that several activities have started uh, for uh, preparing vaccine for COVID uh, in different ways. Therefore, maybe after this COVID period, infrastructures uh, may later serve uh, for production of more affordable uh, uh, rabies biologicals. In fact, altogether, the World Rabies Day remains a unique platform, I think, uh, for the advocacy, awareness, and the education. And uh, it is absolutely necessary to maintain the, the, the momentum. And uh, having said that, I would like to thank uh, colleagues for their contribution to this presentation, with a special thanks to the organizers that provided me with this opportunity. Thank you very much.